A man has died after police say he was hit by not one, but two cars on Hull Street Road. Now, authorities are investigating the latest death of this nature along that stretch of roadway. 8 News reporter Olivia Jaquith joining us live in the Digital Center with what we know so far. Olivia, good evening. Good evening, Eric. Well, unfortunately, this is not the first time something like this has happened along that stretch of the road. It extends into Chesterfield County, where, just like in Richmond, there have been several instances of deadly crashes involving a pedestrian or bicyclist in recent months. An all too familiar scene on Route 360. When it gets dark around there, you see a lot of pedestrians trying to run around there. And cars fly through that stretch. This time on the Hull Street portion of the road in Richmond. It's a near miss a lot of times. If you do, if you aren't looking way ahead of uh, way ahead of you, you hit somebody. This particular crash happened in the 2600 block just before 9:15 last night. That's where Midlothian Turnpike and Route 360 split. Police say an adult man was walking along the double yellow lines in the middle of the road before he wandered into the westbound lane where he was hit by a car. Authorities say another vehicle in the opposite lane then hit the man as well. The pedestrian was pronounced dead at the scene, and police have not yet released his name. And it's sad for both the family and the driver because the driver has to live with that they killed somebody. 8 News spoke with nearby resident Melinda Rule back in November after another pedestrian was hit and killed on Hull Street Road. There is nothing for pedestrians or the bicyclists to walk or go through. Although there was a sidewalk along the stretch of road where last night's crash happened, that's not the case along all of 360. And police say the driver of the first car did stay on the scene to cooperate, but we're told the second driver left the area, which means this is being investigated as a hit and run. At this time, no charges have been filed. For now, live in the Digital Center, Olivia Jaquith, 8 News.